hello and thanks for stopping by the channel. On New Year's Eve, I wanted to smoke a beef tenderloin on a Weber Smoky Mountain cooker. I have the 18-inch uh, Weber Smoky Mountain cooker and I've had it for quite a few years now and I've smoked a lot of turkeys, a uh, couple prime ribs, and I looked up online to see if I could find if anybody had posted uh, any information or uh, instructions on how to smoke a beef tenderloin on a Weber Smoky Mountain cooker and I found some videos online but not for the Weber Smoky Mountain cooker and uh, on the virtual Weber bullet site I found some written instructions but uh, no video and the written instructions uh, were, were pretty detailed so I followed those instructions and I did it myself and documented it and I'm gonna share it so hopefully this will be useful to somebody else who has a Weber Smoky Mountain cooker and wants to smoke a beef tenderloin. Here's the prepared beef tenderloin. There's a lot of great videos already posted online on how to prepare a beef tenderloin to be smoked. So I'll leave some links in the description below so you can just follow that. The temperature I'm gonna go for for the meat is gonna be 129 degrees and then we'll take it off, let it rest a little bit. Then we'll do a final searing. I'm only mentioning it here regarding smoker preparation and at the end of the video I'll tell you where to find more detailed instructions on the method I used to prepare the coals for smoking on the Smoky Mountain cooker. I use a combination of applewood and cherry wood. I use Kingsford charcoal briquettes. A full chimney of charcoal. All vents were fully open until it reached smoking temperature which is between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I close the bottom vents just enough to slide a pencil through. The top vent fully open. The total weight before preparation was eight pounds. After preparation, the main piece in the head was around six pounds together. We have an internal target temperature of 129 degrees Fahrenheit for the main piece. And I'll smoke the head just a little bit longer to medium doneness. The tenderloin went on the smoker at approximately 230. The lid temperature was 240 degrees and the top grate temperature was 255. I'm hoping for a smoking temperature of about an hour. After 40 minutes, lid temperature was 235 degrees. Grate temperature was 253 degrees. The internal meat temperature was 96 degrees. After an hour, the lid temperature was 225 degrees. The grate temperature was 242 degrees. The internal temperature of the tenderloin was 122 degrees. The temperature of the tenderloin wasn't quite there yet, so I fully opened the bottom vents to increase the temperature of the smoker. After an hour and 37 minutes, the internal meat temperature was 131 degrees and the grate temperature was 248. I double checked the tenderloin with a digital instant thermometer, which was 130.6 degrees, a little bit over target temperature of 129 degrees, but that works. I moved the headpiece to the bottom grate to achieve a higher doneness, and mission accomplished. We have an internal temperature of 144.5. Both pieces were loosely wrapped in foil and taken to the grill to be seared. To sear the meat, we want the grill temperature to be between 450 to 500 degrees. My grill was 500 degrees and the meat was seared for one minute on each side. Then the meat was wrapped in foil and sat to rest before slicing. Now we're going to let the meat rest for a little bit. The temperature is still going to increase while it's sitting there and then we'll slice it up. 
We'll serve it up with some sides and some horseradish and have a great meal. I cut the headpiece first and it had a very nice pink color. When I cut the main piece, I expected it to be a bit more rare. However, the color was very close to the headpiece. Yeah, tell them like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. The beef tenderloin was outstanding. And as I said earlier in the description, I left a link to uh, the Weber Virtual Bullet site where I found the written instructions on how to smoke a beef tenderloin on the Smoky Mountain cooker. The written instructions also go into detail on how to prepare the beef tenderloin for smoking, cutting up the meat and uh, getting it all cleaned up, which uh, I just sort of touched on it in the video. And I also left a link to the channel that has the video for the method that I used to prepare the coals and the smoker to get it up to temperature and to maintain the temperature. The YouTube channel is T-Roy Cooks and he has a lot of great tips and tricks for using the Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker. He also has a lot of great hacks to customize the Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker. Now this uh, channel is sort of a mashup of all kinds of things. I'm gonna post stuff. Hopefully it will be useful to somebody, the things that I couldn't find, maybe instructions or go-bys. Uh, also uh, some entertainment stuff. So if you like this sort of content, just uh, random stuff, uh, then please hit the like button and subscribe and share it. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or hit me up on email. I have that in the description below as well. I hope you found this video useful and cheers to you. Thanks.